Elunia. Elunia is a mashav in northern Israel, also known as Sejirur. After the adjacent Arab village Al Jajarare, it was the first Jewish settlement in the Lower Galilee and played an important role in the Jewish settlement of the Galilee from its early years until the 1948 Arab Israeli War. It falls under the jurisdiction of Lower Galilee Regional Council and had a population of in the Byzantine period. A Jewish town was located in the surrounding hills during the period of the Talmud and Mishnah. Zionist settlements. The agricultural colony of Sejira, later Ilania, was established in 1900 minus 1902 on land purchased by Baron Edmund James de Rothschild, which was transferred to the management of the Jewish Colonization Association GCA ICA in 1899. Also in 1899, GCA bought additional land for its planned colony. The first settlers were residents of Safe, a group of immigrants from Kurdistan and eight families of Subanex, Russian Christians who had converted to Judaism, among them the Dubrovin family. The small settlement, founded by a GCA, had two sections, a share corpus colony for more experienced farmers and a training farm for unskilled workers. The former consisted of a short street with private houses on both sides with garden plots in front and sheds at the back. The training farm was located slightly higher up the slope, with the yard enclosed by a wall and single rooms for workers. The overall concept came from JCA official J. Margalith Kalvariski. The DGCA purpose was to help settle the land with professional Jewish farmers, agriculture being seen as a morally as well as economically sound activity. I'm willing to run their project as a charity organization in the style of Baron de Roskald. The JCA leaders in Paris expected the training farm to be self-sufficient and to generate profit. When this did not happen, they replaced Kalvariski in 1901 with the young agronomist Eliyahu Quarles. Since the farm continued losing money, the JCA started in 1906 a process of reducing the administered training farm and gradually transferring its allocated land to the sharecroppers. In 1907-1908, a socialist commune led by Manuel Wolbrushuch and Israel Shachat was contracted to run the farm autonomously for one year without administrative interference. Wolbrushuch received the support of Yehoshua Hankin who brought in Eliyahu Cross to design an operative plan. The 18 commune members, young men and women from Sejer and elsewhere in Palestine, aided by a number of sympathizers, managed for the first time to generate a profit and ensure constant employment for all workers of Sejer with the side effect that outside Arab workers were no longer needed, while also pioneering full equality for women. Along with their work in agriculture, there were daily educational meetings where they learned Hebrew from the young David Gruen, the future Prime Minister of Israel David Ben-Gurion, Arabic for men, Arab villager, socialist theory for man of Wilbushuich, and the latest news from Israel Shotchat. Less publicly, the group used Sejur for training the newly constituted Barge or Jewish Self-Defense Organization which eventually took over from Circassians and the Arabs the guarding duties in Sejur and other nearby Jewish settlements. Manuel Wilbershewich and Israel Shachat married in Sejur in 1908. Ben Kurian worked as a farmhand and later as a guard for 13 months from 1908, at the time Sejur had a population of around 200. On 12 April 1909, two Jews from Sejiro were killed in clashes following the death of a villager from Kefarkana, shot in an attempted robbery. Despite the economic success, JCA did not renew the agreement with the Socialist Commune at the end of the one-year experiment. By taking what was one of the least profitable ranches in the land and making it profitable, Mani Shochat showed that her ideas for a communal collective could work. This first well-run socialist Zionist commune in Palestine is counted as an important precursor of the kibbutz movement and one of the nuclei of Jewish rural settlement in Palestine. By 1912 minus 1913, the training farm was closed down. 
its land reallocated to the sharecroppers or sold to a Jewish plantation company. Still, after over a decade of teaching essential skills to agricultural workers and by bringing together some of the leading pioneers of the first and second alia who would go on to establish the infrastructure of the pre-state Zionist society, the farm can be said to have played an essential role in the Zionist enterprise. During the 1948 Arab-Israeli War, the village was attacked several times by the army for the liberation of Palestine, led by Fawzi al kawachi Most of the Jewish inhabitants temporarily abandoned the place, while the remaining ones took part in the fighting. By 1949, the settlement expanded and it included the territory of the adjacent Palestinian Arab village of al shajara which had been depopulated during the war. At some point, Ilania became a mashaf. Landmarks Ilania and the Sedgera farm are in the list of conserved sites. Some places of note are the old school, founded in 1922, the Miki Tahara in a sepulchral grotto, the house of Naftali Fabricant, now a library and educational centre, and the ruins of a synagogue from the Byzantine era. Notable Residents David Bain Curian, Judith Marquet Cross, 